Good evening, Dean Davis and LiveWeatherBlogs.com meteorologist here. Time for your overnight outlook. Let's first take a look at severe weather and the aspects of it. Then we'll get into a low forecast and finish up with a guess for the area in the mid Atlantic. States. First, we're looking at a measure scale session being put out by the Storm Prediction Center for an extremely large hail event, which is likely to happen in Missouri and Kansas. Weather Watch is likely to be posted probably within the next hour by 1.30 a.m. Eastern Time. I'm, I'm pretty, pretty much thought that we're going to have a, at least a severe high storm watch. We're talking about large hail size of softballs close to baseball in this area. Very good hail parameters for this time of the year. So for the rest of this time frame, anywhere from Wichita, to Abilene, to Midland, to Fort Stockton, Topeka, Wichita, Springfield, and Tulsa. These are areas. Right now, I'm a slight risk area for severe weather, large hail, and high winds and tornadoes. Large hail will be a huge threat here in the plains. Alright, we're moving on to the day on Friday. This is a much bigger threat. We're talking about Oklahoma City, Woodward, Kansas, Tulsa, Oklahoma, Wichita, Texas, Springfield, Topeka, Hannibal, Fedoria, Indianapolis, Cincinnati, Louisville, Ewansville, Bowling Green, Nashville. All in line for the probability of severe weather, and that'll be during the daytime. At nighttime, Charleston, Roanoke, um, parts of Charlotte and Western North Carolina may be in for it, including Knoxville, Tennessee. So these are some probabilities that'll go into Friday night. Heavy rain's going to also be a huge issue, especially up into the Jersey area. Right along the front, this whole area is going to be a uh, chance of a couple inches of rain, and that may cause some flooding issues in already high water table areas. By the time we get into the beginning of next week, we're looking at some massive problems here about this. We might be another tornado outbreak. Tulsa, Oklahoma City, Wichita Falls, Dallas, Shreveport, Waco, Lufkin. These are areas at this current time, if I were looking early next week, it would be almost probable to see a tornado. Dynamics can come together next week. It's very large in this severe weather category. It will last. I'm saying this is Tuesday, running to Tuesday, so I would say Tuesday further east, Wednesday, Tuesday and Wednesday, this eastern coast area may be getting whaled with probability of severe weather. So a lot of the blocks have come for the latest one. Keep you updated on it. A pretty flint situation here. Kansas. <laughs> Along the rivers and across the boundaries here. New Jersey and Pennsylvania. On the area, 46 Hot Springs, 46 Dalton, 54 Rowan, 63 Danville, 50 Rottenville, 48 Whistle, 61, and Bristol, Tennessee. National temperatures. We got 71 Orlando, 75 Houston, 75 New Orleans, which coordinates 59 Tulsa, 47 Seattle, in the mid 40s, in the greatest location in the nation, Cleveland, Ohio. That's an old one. From back in the day on the weather channel. 36 Bangor, 44, New York City. We're going to look now at the Roanoke Valley forecast. We have some rain on the way. 58 rainy, wet conditions on Friday and Friday night. Rain tapering off early Saturday morning. Turn the sunshine on 79 degrees. 60 Saturday night. 83 Sunday with chance thunderstorms. 84 for Monday. Now that's how it's originally forecasted for 90. We get them settled for Tuesday. In the tri gate, Friday 55, Friday night, Grizzle ending 77 on Saturday, 84 Sunday, 85 for Monday. In the triangle, 60 degrees Friday, rain, 80 Saturday, 85 Sunday with the sunrise, going towards 90 degree mark still in the triangle for the day on Monday. Stay with LiveWeatherBlogs.com for all your latest weather information. We'll keep you updated on around the clock information. For LiveWeatherBlogs.com, meteorologist Dean Davidson. Good night.